one, two. The worst streamer on the internet, Battery H. Hey everybody, good evening. Welcome to Friday Night Funnies. Actually, Friday Night Frights, probably. I am Battery H. This is 100 Days of Gaming, day 51, supporting Extra Life and their mission to heal kids. That's right, I support Extra Life. And so does the stream. What is Extra Life, you might ask? Very, very simple. It's a charity that raises money for the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. A uh, number of us uh, pledge to play games for 24 hours at some point, and in exactly 50 days, uh, seven weeks from tomorrow, I'll be doing just that. I'll be playing a 25 hour marathon. And in turn, we ask for your donations uh, small, large, whatever you can do uh, to help us support those kids. You get those donations if you're in the U.S. tax-free. Uh, they, they are completely right. You write the whole thing off. Um, if you're outside the U.S., I, I don't know. You'd have to check with your local tax preparer. Uh, and those kids get every penny of the money, whether it is new equipment, whether it's researching new treatments, all that wonderful kinds of stuff that we don't do. And I set that audio way too high. Okay, there's better. And uh, with that, none of the money goes to overhead. I don't see a penny of it. Uh, none of it goes to paying administrators. They don't pay the charity people anything. Um, this is all run in conjunction with Children's Miracle Network. They provide most of the big assets we need uh, to us free of charge. Uh, we share them with their regular work and then we do the rest and just provide some fundraising in a different kind of form. I know a lot of you may see charity drives like that on your local television stations where they're raising money for the local kids' hospitals. That's what we're doing. We're just not doing it on the big screen. 
We're doing it on your little screen. <laughs> so, if you care to make a donation, if you're watching this live on Twitch, simply type in exclamation point extra league. Uh, and if you are on YouTube watching this after I've streamed it, simply look into the description. They have them. That's right. They'll give you a link right in there, and it'll take you to my Extra Life page. Find out about a little more about, more about me and why I do this. A little bit more about the hospital I'm raising money for, Children's Hospital in New Orleans. That's kind of important. We'll discuss that in a second. And uh, find out some of the things I'm doing to uh, reward the people that have given money this year. Uh, all the Extra Lifers don't do that. i just like to say thank you in a very special way to the people that have uh, so graciously donated their hard-earned money to help the kids of New Orleans. What's so big about New Orleans and the hospital? Well, that's where this game is set. It's set in New Orleans. So we're going to get right back in the middle of that. We'll bump up the... Uh, there we go. And now you can see it better. Okay. Let's load us up from where we were the last time. Things, things were not going good. We found a, a dying chicken on the front on the uh, floor last time. And we've determined that, based from what we got yesterday, that the uh, bones where the talisman might be are either in New, possibly in New Orleans, possibly in Virginia, or wherever the colony my ancestor was, or possibly in Africa. So I think what we're going to do is check out the New Orleans Cemetery. We know where the Getty family has got a current to. Let's just go over there and take a look again and see if we can find something else to that effect. I'm finding more and more of the I'm going out for a bit. are Be really careful. starting to... Um, it's telling us more and more about the game, so we really need to pay attention to that next time, guys. Okay. Well, they erased, a, they erased the message we put there the last time. Okay, let's take a look here. A stone angel. Two enormous vases flank. An angel draped dramatically. Wait a minute. There's a small marble plate near the tomb doors. That door's the open. The plate up. is up. Beneath the plate is a button. Okay. Gabriel hears the faint sound of breaking glass. I think they'd be alive. I think we have a, um... Gabriel got the flashlight free in the mail when he ordered a magazine subscription. It works, though. I have to point it at the darkness. Okay, there we go. Okay. The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. Casilla Getty. The plaque on the drawer has an etching of the Veve on it, but no name. The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. Celeste Getty. Handsome, isn't he? The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. Cecily Getty. The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. 
Jacqueline Getty. The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. If you've never come across Asher before, well, let's see. The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. Helena Getty. Gabriel doesn't. The plaque on the drawer has a name etched on it. Okay. Rosamund Getty. So there's one that's not, that's different than all the rest. The plaque under. Okay, so we got that. Let's see if we can. The drawer is locked. This wall is covered with decorated skulls. An ossuary shrine to some of the Getty ancestors. I hope no one ever builds me a shrine like that. Gabriel doesn't see. I think I know what happened to the men in the family now. Oh, good Lord, yes, they're Some all. Some of these look loose. Yes, they do. Hmm, nothing. down here it's the sign of the cross because remember Catholicism is wrapped up in that stuff so yeah, yeah. no nope. Tidolo is in the center The drawers popped open. Mosley. Oh shit. Shit. I dropped my flashlight. Huh? <clears throat> Sometime later. Ouch. On oh, my head. What the hell was that? Somebody who didn't want you to find Mosley, obviously. A fallen friend. Huh? Mosley's body is gone. There's a wallet in the drawer. It must have fallen from Mosley's jacket when the body was moved. Perhaps Gabriel should... There's broken glass on the floor. Someone's broken the light in here. No wonder it's so dark. It's a lit button. Oh, brother. Well, that was it. That was our last ally in the fight. I do not want to get Grace involved in this. Alright, we gotta tell her what's going on. Where have you been? I was worried about you. For good reason, apparently. What happened? Do you need a doctor? Nothing you want to know about, and no, you're some aspirin. Gabriel, this is nuts. You have to get out of New Orleans. No kidding. Well, listen, Wolfgang called while you were out. He said, and I quote, Tell Gabriel that I found what I was looking for. It's time for me to do my duty. Schloss Ritter is his now. Now call me crazy, but I don't think that's good news. Not for Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you going to do? If I figure it out, I'll let you know.
Constable opens the wallet and finds some ID belonging to Mosley and an American's repressed card. An American repressed card belonging to a cop. It's almost as if they knew. And social commentary. Oh my goodness. Um. say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Yes, you do. Country code is 49. 932 is the, uh, the equivalent of the, uh, 49 is the country code. Uh, 0932. Guten Tag. Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht. Let that. me speak to Uncle Wolfgang, please. Night. He cannot come to speak here. What do you mean? I cannot get him. Sorry. Uh, goodbye. But... Okay. I think we're going to talk to Grace and go to Germany. I have a credit card. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have message? I've given. Okay, let's see what the book says, just in case. Saucer is my. Let's go back and Didn't Grace say you had to dial 011 first to get international? for a trip to Riddersburg, Germany. Riddersburg, Germany. Hold on, let me look that up. I can fly you into Munich. That's the closest airport to Riddersburg. You can rent a car from there or take the train. Let's see, the best price I can see for the flight is $1,400. What would you like to do? Charge it to my Americans repressed. Yes, sir. And your name was? Mosley. Feeling a little guilty, Gabriel gives the travel agent Mosley's card number and is informed that he can pick up his tickets at the Norlands International Airport. That, that would be the Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport. Okay. Tell Grace we're going on a little trip, maybe? Just saying. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Got any ideas, Grace? Yeah, get out of town. You're so helpful. Guess what? I'm going to Germany. Really? That's great. But how on earth can you afford... A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Oh my god. I wouldn't like the sound of that even if you were a man. <laughs> I'll miss you too, Grace. I'm really going, Grace. I really hope you'll be safe, Gabriel.
Goodbye, Gracie. Good luck. Let me know what's going on, will you? Of course. Are you going to be okay here by yourself? I'll be fine. Just fix this, okay? I'm trying, Gracie. The airport's actually a little more up here, but... Yeah, it's Gabriel close picks up his tickets at the airport and boards a plane for Munich. you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came all this way. No, oh, great. That's all I need. Herr Knight, Wolfgang told me all about you and gave me instructions for you to feel welcome here. Please, this is your home. You are a Ritter, no? I'm just doing some work. I will continue and you may make yourself comfortable. If there's anything you need, please ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Thank you, miss. You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. Well, okay, welcome to the new place. <laughs> the secretary's desk, right? Gabriel is sure he'll end up getting some of those for a meal sooner or later. It's a lion's head, carved in stone. There's a dragon's head on the wall. The great hall of Schloss Ritter towers around Gabriel. He can imagine the heat and build. A few ancient weapons adorn the hall. The Shadow Hunter stuff is serious. A few tapestries hang on the wall. Gabriel isn't sure if they mean something or if they're just good insulation. Looks like there's the doors and there's the chapel. There's a window seat on either side of the window. It's the biggest bed Gabriel has ever seen. The portal says, Nor dare Rhein starve passieren. Diesen hurts is Rhein wie Glas. Diesen Zieler Rhein wie Feuer, schreitet heuer Dirk's Portal. Near the bed is an unlap. The door has a very large, very oddly shaped keyhole. It's locked. The only way to open that door is with the right key. The cabinet holds a few items for personal grooming. A gothic-style window looks out over an incredible view. Fresh air might not be a bad idea, huh? Outside the window, there's a nice thick ledge where some rainwater has gathered into a puddle. A 
A fire blazes steadily in the stone fireplace. A large display case hangs on the wall. It contains a scroll. This scroll looks interesting. Man, I gotta get more sleep. Magnificent stained glass window depicts the legendary battle between St. George and the dragon. Gee, St. George's bookstore, people. Tree panels hang from each side of the chapel. Gabriel can't determine what their purpose might be. Candelabra flank the altar. Perhaps it's an illusion caused by the colored light from the window, but this chapel gives Gabriel a sense of something truly mystical. A plain wooden altar occupies the center of the chapel. A cushion kneeler at the bottom indicates that the altar is a place of prayer. Gabriel doesn't have a reason to I think I got up. There are pews. The pews look uncomfortable. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. What can you tell me about voodoo? Let's go through the litany. Wolfgang is the only one who would know about that. Tell me what you know about Schattenjägers. As Wolfgang may have told you, Schattenjäger means shadow hunter. The Ritter family have always been Schattenjäger. It is a kind of priesthood, though not as restrictive as most. <laughs> Tell me what you know about Schattenjägers. Each Schattenjäger passes on his knowledge to a younger man in the Ritterline when the time is right. Tell me what you know about Schattenjägers. I am sure Wolfgang meant for you to take his place someday as Schattenjäger. Tell me something about the Ritter family. I can tell you what they say in the village, what I heard when I was small. To the villagers, the Ritters are a little, how do you say, tragic be pitied. They say that the Ritters were chosen by God to fight evil, but something happened. One of them was cursed, and so the Ritters lost the way. They struggle still, but like a lame dog, you see, without the power or magic they once had. Tell me something about the Ritter family. There are legends of how powerful the family once was, of some of their mighty deeds, of the richness of the castle and, in turn, Rittersberg itself. But at the end of the 17th century, that all changed. Since then, the Ritters and Rittersberg have been in decline. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter has stood for many centuries. No one knows how long. It was once the pride of Bavaria, but now it is in disrepair. Wolfgang received offers to open the castle for tourists. He has resisted, though, even though the castle is in desperate need of repairs. To him, this ground is sacred. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. The castle has many, many rooms and passages, Herr Knight. Most have been closed off and are decaying in the dark and damp. Only a few rooms have been kept up due to the cost. Didn't Wolfgang mention a library? There's a library, but I've never been in it. There are places in the castle where only the master is allowed to go. 
tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter is the center from which the Schattenjäger have always gone out to battle the forces of evil. So, what do you do when you're not puttering around the castle? Every day, I go to Rittersberg to do the daily shopping and visit my friends. Have you worked here long? For the past four years. Boots I may have to find a new school. girlfriend since apparently my current one is very the peaceful and quiet. I'm sure you will find it like a vacation, yeah? Somehow I doubt this is going to be a vacation. This place is so quiet. Doesn't that bother you at all? I love it here in Schloss Ritter. Even the silence feels like home to me. Tell me something about yourself. I was born in Rittersberg, the village below the castle. Tell me something about yourself. I am not well traveled, but Wolfgang has been kind and has tutored me in many subjects. It was from him I learned to speak English. Aha! He must have sensed you were coming, Herr Knight, and that you would have need of me. Tell me something about yourself. I am very devoted to my position here with Wolfgang. Tell me something about yourself. I love Rittersberg. No place on earth could be as beautiful. Tell me about Wolfgang. What would you like to know? What's Wolfgang like? Wolfgang is a truly wise and good man. The best I have ever known. But his life has been so full of disappointments. What kind of disappointments? His only son died in infancy. So there was no one to carry on the family line. And the family's financial troubles have been not, hard on him. I hope he's not looking to me for help Wolfgang in that score. wanted to do so much for the world. But it was all he Otherwise could do to just trouble. hold on to Schloss Ritter. He has not left his mark as he wished to. What is your relationship with Wolfgang? Herr Knight, my relationship with your uncle is really none of your oh, business. Depends. You're right, Gerda. I apologize. Forget I asked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know when he'll be back? I only pray he will be back. Before he left, he said Schloss Ritter now belongs to Gabriel. It worried me so to hear him say that. I'm afraid Wolfgang knew he would never return. Just tell me anything. Wolfgang has dedicated his entire life to the role of Schattenjäger. Where do you think Wolfgang went? I don't know, but I have a feeling he has gone off to be Schattenjäger again. He is too old for such chasing around. His heart is very weak. He has not left this castle for five years, and now this? Can you show me Wolfgang's library? How do you know about his library? When we talked on the phone, he said he was going to do some research in his library. I thought maybe if I saw what he was researching. Ah, yeah, a good idea, Herr Knight. But I'm afraid I cannot show you the library. You see, I have never been in it. Only a Schattenjäger can enter the library. I see. Oh, nothing. Never mind. As you like, Herr Knight. There are some words over the locked door in Wolfgang's bedroom. What do they mean? Ah, yes. Wolfgang had me translate it as part of my English lessons. In English it means... Only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass. He whose soul is pure as fire. Through this portal passes higher. Great, thanks. What was that door poem again? Oh. Great, thanks. What can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings. They describe the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Tell me about the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Each young man of the Ritter line must go through the ceremony when he dedicates himself to be a Schattenjäger. But what does the ceremony do? I do not know, Herr Knight. 
The only people present are the old Schattenjäger and the new. But I think it must be similar to a priest's ordination or a wedding. A ceremony of intent and oath. <laughs> Is there a problem, Herr Knight? You said wedding. I'm okay now. <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me about that initiation ceremony? I really don't know any more about it, Herr Knight. The second panel shows hair and a knife. The first panel shows hands and water. The third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. The fourth panel shows a knife and a few drops of blood. The fifth panel shows someone kneeling. The sixth panel shows a scroll. Got the scroll. Okay, so hands and water. Wash your hands, maybe? Cleanliness, right? Uh, cleanliness. Um... <laughs> Personal grooming, you know, um, an outward sign of your, of your dedication. A monk kind of thing, I think. The is. third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. Something to do with the sea. Cup of seawater. Uh, blood sacrifice. Uh, kneel in prayer and read the scroll, I think. Okay. It's a shaker of salt. Gerda wouldn't appreciate Gabriel messing with her lunch. Take the salt. A little salt water. Is that water a shaker maybe? of salt? Yeah, salt. Mind if I take it? No. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna need that. A few ancient weapons adorn the hall. A large handcrafted dagger hangs on the wall. Well, it that would certainly be old, good enough for it's um, been polished to a high shine. Drawing blood, I guess, huh? A few ancient That weapon might be a bit much Yeah, that's what I thought, but Okay, let's go back upstairs. He's <laughs> There's a small pair of grooming scissors on the cabinet. Okay. Gabriel takes the scissors. It's a chamber pot. Take me back to the 20th century, please. I don't have to right now. Even if I had to, I wouldn't. Gabriel takes the chamber pot. Outside the window, there's a night, Gabriel night. Putting water in my pockets is really going to give people the wrong impression about me. <laughs> yeah, I bet it would. Um, I was, I was thinking maybe fill up the bowl. 
Thinking of the first chapel panel, Gabriel washes his hands in the water. Since we don't have a bathroom. cut my hair without a damn good reason. I don't cut my hair without a damn good reason. Maybe I could do it in front of the mirror. That's must be it. Okay. You hands up. Thinking of the second chapel panel, Gabriel cuts his hair. I hate this. There. That's plenty. Okay. Had to do it in front of the mirror. Makes absolute sense, doesn't it, folks? That's an interesting thought, but there would be less chance of spilling the salt if Gabriel put the chamber pot down first. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel puts the chamber pot on the altar. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel pours the contents of the salt shaker into the chamber pot. Putting that in the chamber pot doesn't seem to make sense somehow. Thinking of the fourth panel, Gabriel holds his arm over the chamber pot and nicks it with the dagger. Oh, oops. Nearly hit an artery. Thinking of the fifth panel, Gabriel kneels at the altar. There's that scroll. I think we got this one, people. Thinking yes. of the sixth panel, Gabriel reads the scroll. Can I read it? St. George, patron of the light who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road. Thy sword I take up for mine own. It worked. Something's happening. Oh, excuse me. I was just vacuuming. <laughs> I did not know you were in here. Vacuum, yes. Got the staff to work. No, that's all right. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. You look tired, Herr Knight. Why don't you go to bed? Sure, why not? I will clean everything up. You need not worry. I can't believe I cut my hair for nothing. <laughs> that's the part he's upset with, you know. Cutting the hair. That night. A new dream, maybe? Yes. Your soul spells, Gabriel Knight. You seek to be shot, Jaeger? I do. You must first burn away the past. How much sin do you have to burn? Grand 
hand, Grace. And Malia? Inside a hidden chamber where I had no right to be, I found the wheel at last, or could be the wheel found me. Hmm, what a night. I'm sore all over. We have a key. There's a key on the table. I don't believe it. It's the key for my dream. All right, let's go downstairs and see if our uh, good Gede is... Good morning, uh, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please, feel at home. I found this key in Wolfgang's bedroom. That is good, Herr Knight. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. You wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom now, would you? Key? Why no, Herr Knight. I cannot say that I do. Okay. I should ask you one more time about Wolfgang. Can Just I ask you a few... Yeah, of... Tell me about... What would you like to know? Just tell me anything. He's not had a very happy life, but I've done my best to provide him with a little comfort. Just tell me. He thought he was the last of the Ritter line until he found out about you. Just tell me anything. He knows the history of the Ritter family from many centuries past. Just tell me anything. He is a good man, a strong man. I am fond of him. <laughs> Ah, oh, bet you are. Oh, okay, that tells me everything I needed to As know. As you like, Herr Knight. All right, let's go back up and open up the portal. This has got to be the library. Oh boy. It fits. I think we're getting closer. On the wall is the image of a shield taking up several stone tiles. However, the image in its center looks jumbled and out of order. More colorful tapestries soften the stone walls here. These shelves contain history books. Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts, Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. This book is entitled Malleus Maleficarum, The Witch Hammer. Dated 1486, it's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. I'm not so sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. Gotta love the Spanish Inquisition, folks. These shelves contain books and journals, diaries, record books, deeds. Something to peruse extensively when Gabriel has more time. 
Gabriel wouldn't know which history book to read. These shelves contain... Gabriel wouldn't know where... These shelves... Gabriel looks at the titles curiously, but they're all a bit too technical for his tastes. Although it probably isn't connected with the case at hand, Gabriel picks up an occult book. It's a book on lycanthropes, shapeshifters. The book claims that lycanthropy is not uncommon. Supposedly, there's been evidence of apparently normal human beings turning into various beasts throughout history, including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. Fascinating. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts himself. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Gabriel's not sure where to start with these books. There are books on sociology. Gabriel wouldn't know. These shelves contain books on archaeology. Gabriel wouldn't know where to start reading the archaeology books. Just by glancing at the spines, Gabriel can tell this is one of the most priceless private book collections he has ever seen. Talk about a bibliophile Shangri-La. The candles are for nighttime reading, little bit. perhaps. With all these books around, a heavy wooden table occupies the center of the library. Okay. I can't get into any of the books, but... Looks like we have another puzzle to figure out here. It moves.
Gabriel slides the last tile into place, revealing a compelling coat of arms image of a lion and a snake that looks familiar somehow. With the shield's image in the proper order, the wall opens to reveal a hidden room. Because we got hidden stuff all over. This is, of course, a every good castle has a secret passage. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. I'm just glad it wasn't one of those where you had a blank space and you had to shuffle all that stuff. Cause I Behind a wall is a shrine to Schottenjäger's past. Their weapons, trophies, and legacy. A Schottenjäger trophy room. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Children, we're sorry about the language. Benin, that's where he said he was going to go, right? The title catches Gabriel's eye. People's Republic of Benin by Lowell Cayley. Gabriel pulls out a book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fons, the Dahomies, and the terrible Agri. The book The Primal Ones by John Roots provides insight into these fascinating cultures. Okay, that tells us kind of where we have to go. Gabriel takes down the primal ones and opens it. Ah, we have In it. contrast with the peaceful, nomadic tribes of northern Africa, certain tribes of the southwest were vicious and xenophobic. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed, in a perpetual state of war and raiding, some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Wow. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back. See Ancient Roots of Africa by Early Days. I have the feeling that's going to be in the uh, archaeology section. Gabriel wouldn't As know where to start oh, reading okay. the archaeology eh, books. Maybe history. We're not sure yet. Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa right. and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. In Egyptian time, 4000 to 2000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exists in Africa today. See Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. Gabriel wouldn't know where to... Gabriel removes ancient... We know a... See Sun Worship. Oh, religion section. Gabriel takes down sun worshippers and scans it. One of the most earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. That makes sense. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. Why am I not the surprised? The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. Seymour Shards. An archaeologist named Seymour Shards 
Oh, I'm stealing that for something. Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the Snake Mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery, though clearly they were the result of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. Two the mound is again. said to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. Two rings. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstition. The local people regard the mound with fear and won't go near it. A double snake ring? Gabriel flips furiously, looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Gabriel decides to hang on to the snake mound book. Okay, so we have a paper trail. this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? Are you sure the Ritter estate can't pay? I manage Wolfgang's books, I am quite sure. Have you any money? <laughs> well, my, my, my recently departed friend left me with a credit card. So. I know, we can use his credit card. Terrific. I will go make the call. Then, while we wait, breakfast. breakfast. Yes. Does that mean I can get some coffee now? Oh, we're going to have to save things here shortly. I have the feeling we're getting into some dangerous territory. Enlightened day eight. So we're at day nine. And the wheel went round and round. I could not find my way. Twelve and three and turn the key, I heard the madman say. Sounds like the clock to me. Within a wheel. You want I stay here, right? It's a long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. I may be a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. The floor is an etched stone. This stone looks interesting. The walls bear ancient paintings, the handiwork of the sun worshippers, no doubt. Vine, some as thick as Gabriel's wrist, hang from the damp earthen ceiling. In the center of the wall painting is a square sunken area. 
Holes about the size of a quarter appear in the wall there. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. You think? Mummy-like figures in contorted poses appear to be the only residents here. Gabriel wonders, was this a burial mound, or does their presence serve some ritualistic purpose? An etched stone is on the wall. It's stuck. On the floor is an etched stone. On the floor is an etched stone. Snake tile, ten snake tile. Okay. An etch stone. Gabriel can't see a way to use. Shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. A long rod lies in one corner of the room. It's shaped a little like a snake. The floor is an etched stone. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. Off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. It fits.
Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. Things are starting to get creepy, folks. Eleven snake tiles, so this would be four. Do we have a forest tile yet? No. Okay. Hey, Scouter! Yo. Did I see your Steam message? Uh, I think so, yeah. I do believe so. How are you, my friend? Things are really starting to get spooky here. From oh. off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. I would have to get back with you, bud. I hadn't really given much uh, thought to it. I saw it a bit today and uh, didn't have much of a chance to... Oh, schmucks. Hang on just a minute here. I will have to, um... the floor is an etched stone. You wish you could afford 50 bucks. <laughs> What's 50 bucks? Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. Five snake room here, right? From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. An etched stone. Okay, so this is five, so that means this one here is four. Oh! <laughs> you currently, yep, plus 50. Yep, yep. Ah, well, you know, buddy, no worries. We'll get there eventually. Just hang loose. It's coming. Did you have Walking Dead Season 1, though, I guess is the question. you like The Walking Dead Season 1? Oh. 
Not sure you'd enjoy that? Okay, no worries. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. There's a wolf among us. Yeah, I can understand how the creep factor would be, uh... This, this game probably is not for you either. Um, okay, this one is the one, the one snake. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. There's 12. This would be the 11. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. <laughs> you get the impression that these guys are... Mummy-like figures in contorted poses appear to be the only residents here. Gabriel wonders, was this a burial mound, or does their presence serve some ritualistic purpose? Gotta get them all. Okay, that should be the three snake tile. Yep. Okay. So this is the ten hole. The shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. Okay. So the three tile is next, and I think that's going to be the last thing we have to do. We may have to use that snake stick, because it looks like that's what the holes are for. The snake stick I picked up earlier. Probably either at 12 and 3 or at just 3. And that, I suspect, is going to set off a whole chain of stuff, probably involving these mummies. But because we only have 10 minutes left in tonight's stream, I think we're going to, we're going to save here and we're going to save it as a new... As a new snake mound. Yeah, let's do that. We'll save the game right there. And we're gonna quit the game right there. Uh, in part because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get started with something and then have to try and quit in the middle of a running sequence. And unfortunately, I can't stay late tonight. Um, Scott, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, I will get back to you with that, uh, with an answer to that uh, question you asked. Um, Tuesday night, we're going to pick this up, and I expect it's only going to be one or two nights before we finish this big bad thing up. 
we are coming close to the end here. It's day nine. And if I remember right, there are only 10 days in the game. So we're coming to the conclusion of Gabriel Knight Sins of the Fathers. Uh, the original storyline all the way back from uh, the days of uh, 1993, I believe. This is the 20th anniversary edition. Some of these puzzles are new. Uh, yeah, I know, Scatter, it's sad to see me go too, but unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Tomorrow morning, we'll be back at 8.30 a.m. Central Time with uh, Cherry 2287 and Fallout 4. I may, I may very well be bringing a new game to the table uh, if I stream Saturday afternoon, uh, 1 o'clock to 3. Not sure if that stream's going to happen yet or not. I've got a lot going on this weekend. So we're going to give it a try, and I may be bringing a new game to the table for that. And then, of course, Sunday is everyone's favorite American Truck Simulator, and we got some new DLC this week. Uh, they, uh, they released a a sponsored steering wheel pack uh, that uh, ATS folks could pick up for free. If you had uh, so many hours already played in the game, you could do that. Um, and the, it was sponsored by a company that makes actually custom steering wheels for uh, American big rigs. And I'm kind of looking forward to showing that off a little bit. Uh, see if we can find one that does it. So some of their actual models and things like that were uh, were brought into the game. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, SCS is doing some wonderful stuff with that. So I'll be doing that. And then uh, I believe Monday night is Gas Guzzler's Extreme. And like we said, Tuesday evening, uh, we'll be getting real close here to the completion of, uh, wow, the completion of Gabriel Knight. And uh, our run of New Orleans will be at, at an end uh, until, of course, Mafia 3 comes out, uh, which will go right back to New Bordeaux and uh, bringing that in. Remember, today has been day 51 of 100 Days of Gaming. We're raising money for Extra Life and Children's Hospital of New Orleans. Uh, if you care to make a donation, simply check out the links below. Remember to follow me on Twitter at BatteryH without the underscore. You can also find me on YouTube at BatteryH1862. We're posting pretty much all of the 100 Days of Gaming videos. So if you've missed the storyline of this so far, you can pick it up there. Uh, there's a big list, uh, a big playlist with uh, all these days together. So you can kind of see the stories and, and things. And, and Scouter, if you didn't want to play... The Walking Dead, but you'd like to watch it, uh, I have all the episodes of that available on uh, in the 100 Days of Gaming for 2016. So I've got Season 1, Season 2. Uh, so you can kind of watch it and see if you like it or not. And uh, obviously it's a storyline game, so if you're watching it, you're probably not going to want to play it. Although there are different choices and things. With that being said, I think we're going to wrap it up for tonight. Uh, once again, thank you to Scouter for stopping by and giving us a host. I hope that uh, everyone has a chance to uh, swing by tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon or Sunday morning. Uh, I will see you all then. Uh, as we say down here in New Orleans, la c'est le bon temps roulé. Let the good times roll, folks. It's Friday night. Have a great one. If you've enjoyed the stream, despite the awful host, please consider a donation to Extra Life. Thank you for watching.